What's arrived? YouTube, what has arrived at the door? It's big. It's so big. Let's see what's inside. So I've opened the uh, box, YouTube, and looks like we've got ourselves a line six. Let's keep opening it. Valve, I'm looking at this guitar, which is a Mexican player's guitar, and it's in like a yellow blonde finish. Uh, lovely colour. Reminds me of uh, Buddy Guy Strat. Um, yeah, I like this colour more than the uh, normal white. So YouTube, this is a player's Mexican Strat. Um, I've played all kinds of Strats. Um, but yeah, this is the standard series at the moment. Um, really nice guitar. Uh, nice neck. Um, satin neck. Um, yeah. Um, sounds good. Sounds just like a strap. Um, the thing with Mexicans and USA straps and any strap really, but especially like a Mexican one, they can be a bit inconsistent sometimes. Nice strong neck, you know, the neck actually actually feels like a Japanese neck, you know, you know what I mean? Or even like American one. But then sometimes, to be honest, some of the American ones are a bit inconsistent as well. I had a American Strat Plus once, which was not very good at all for how much it was worth. It was okay, but it wasn't mind blowing, you know what I mean? Um, especially when you can get a Squire, which would blow your mind or, I don't know, a Tokai or a Jack Squire, but then they're going, going up and up and up and up and they're becoming a bit silly now Japanese squires um, but yeah have a listen so I've got my line 6 valve amp my new amp um, this is guitar, this guitar does sound good um, I have played it obviously before this video I've actually jammed it uh, live and uh, sounded great to me uh, sounds just like a strap though, and um, straps can sound a bit thin. Um, but if you want a humbucker, then get less pull or a PRS. But yeah, this is the neck pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
go to the bridge position now. All toe nubs are on full. All up. guitar not a bad guitar the strings are tens they're really thin for me um, I've been playing it like this in standard tuning but I will probably get this set up um, to my taste um, but I'm quite happy playing it at the moment as it is there's no sharp edges or anything like that it's a really nice one like I said there's good guitars and there's bad guitars but, you know, for the price point, this seems like a good one because you can get some really expensive guitars, uh, deluxe straps and stuff like that, and they can have such sharp edges and they, they just play like crap and they just, it doesn't, you know, the tone's not there, it doesn't ring, but this seems to ring, you know, unplugged, even it rings. So yeah, but so um, yeah, it's a nice guitar. Um, there's not much to say really. I love my uh, amp. Um, are they getting a bit expensive? In my opinion, yes, they are getting a little bit crazy, but um, so are Fender Strats from Japan. And so are Squire Japanese Strats. They are just going through the roof with prices. Uh, it's crazy. Um, to be honest, even Chinese squires, they're just a bit silly as well in price. Um, so yeah, it's all getting a bit silly really. Um, I suppose you could pick up a, a, a good Epiphone for what, 300 quid, something like that. You know, it might be your best option. And it'll be a good, good, good guitar as well. Um, yeah. All right, like and subscribe to my channel. It's Lost Groove Music. And check out my band, Mysterious Blues. Uh, we play in London. We play everywhere. Um, there's a link down below if you're in the London area. Click, buy a ticket. And uh, yeah, enjoy my original songs. You can hear my original songs on SoundCloud, uh, www.soundcloud.com slash mysterious blues, and you'll be able to hear some of my own songs. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>